One of the threads that runs through the entire exhibition that binds it is a, an interest in materiality and the way that a material can speak not only about the, the objects that are defined by the material, but the material itself as a kind of inherent metaphor embedded within it. If it's an urgent material, it speaks to a certain kind of temporality and impossibility to exist forever. And then, of course, um, going in the other direction, if it's something that's more permanent, like stone, it, um, it speaks a little bit more to a kind of petrification. Um, but one thing that I think all of these materials hold within them is a certain kind of um, uh, response and a recognition of, of traumas. I'm very interested in these projects being a form of return of a kind of continuous and restless investigation and reinvestigation into these, these moments that I'm working with where almost every single project uh, refers to either through some form of reappearance or restoration um, to a moment that exists uh, where, where enlightenment gives way to collapse. And my hope is that the projects focus on that not as a form of nostalgia, but as a recognition of potential and a recognition of the things that need to be accounted for and to allow for that kind of process, process to be wielded as a blueprint for, for, for a kind of future. And I also feel as though Dubai is an interesting place for all of this to happen because I do, I have had some experiences here of, of exhibiting and also of, uh, of, of performing site-specific works. And one of the things that I'm, that I'm always interested in as someone whose family comes from this region uh, and, and was, was put in a situation where they had to leave. Um, I constantly see these street signs where construction is happening that say in English and in Arabic, deep excavation. And so I'm always thinking about the psychoanalytic site that a place like Dubai offers the work that I do. My projects usually involve a materialization or a manifestation of ideas or things or situations or places or encounters that have disappeared. And in making them present again by having them materially described either through sculpture or through audio or some other form, it's not necessarily supposed to be seen as a reconstruction or as something that is just um, erasing the fact that it's disappeared. In fact, it's really trying to hold space for, for it to be a kind of imperfect offering of what has disappeared so that it can exist as a spectral presence, as something that looks and feels a lot different than the thing or the event may have it may have been when it happened, but that's exactly what a spectral presence does. That's what an apparition does. That's what a ghost does. So it reappears, but it looks different than it had when it was living. And the only way that it can properly haunt is by looking different and to also make clear that even though it's reappeared, it will disappear again. <laughs>